Hello, 21st century learners. Climb aboard and explore with Teacher Delore. Together, let's discover different worlds and dimensions as we enter this literary adventure. Today, I will not just be your teacher, I will also be your tour guide. Together, we will travel from lesson to lesson, discover treasures, and experience an extraordinary adventure as we journey through 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Twenty-first century learners, as a twenty-first century reader, you grew up using technology as a primary learning tool. You are capable of navigating and interpreting digital formats and media messages. You also possess literacy skills, which include technological abilities such as keyboarding, internet navigation, interpretation of technological speak, ability to communicate and interpret coded language and decipher graphics. Today's lesson is definitely for you, 21st century learner. Today, we will tackle the 21st literary genres. This refers to new literary works created within the last decade. These are written by contemporary authors which may deal with current themes or issues and reflect a technological culture. They often break traditional writing rules. Exciting, right? Ready to take off? Grab your modules. Here we go. On the previous episode, we learned that imagery is a poetic element that tries to create a picture in the mind of the reader or a mental image through the use of figurative language. Gabu depicts a coastline in a locus that is constantly experiencing the battering restlessness of the sea. Panahon na muling padaluyin ng Agos is a persuasive essay that focuses on the potent capacity of the national language to arouse patriotism and love of country and its people. Today, we will focus on the 21st century literary genres. Time for your tour task! Number one, I'll give you 20 seconds for this. Look for the conventional literary genres in the puzzle and in a separate sheet of paper, answer the questions that follow. One, what are the four conventional literary genres have you found in the puzzle? Two, what are their unique features? Time's up! Let's see how you did. What are the four conventional literary genres have you found in the puzzle? Answers are poetry, drama, fiction, and nonfiction. What are their unique features? Poetry. Poetry is an imaginative awareness of experience expressed through meaning, sound, and rhythmic language choices to evoke an emotional response. It has been known to employ meter and rhyme. The very nature of poetry as an authentic and individual mode of expression makes it nearly impossible to be defined. Drama. Drama is a composition in prose or verse presented through dialogues. It pantomimes a story involving conflict more contrast of character, especially unintended to be acted on stage, a play. It may be any situation or series of events having vivid, emotional, conflicting, or striking interest. 
Fiction Fiction is literature created from the imagination, not presented as fact, though it may be based on a true story or situation. Types of literature in the fiction include the novel, short story, and novella. Nonfiction Nonfiction is based on facts and the author's opinion about a subject. The purpose of nonfiction writing is to inform and sometimes to persuade. Its examples are biographies, articles from textbooks, and magazines and newspapers. Can I have a peek of your answers? Bingo! You got great answers! Task unlocked! You have rediscovered the conventional literary genres. This time, let us learn the modern literary genres presently used by 21st century writers. The first one is illustrated novel. This is a story through text and illustrated images. 50% of its narrative is presented without words. Here, the reader must interpret the images to comprehend the story completely. Textual portions are presented in traditional form. Some illustrated novels may contain no text at all. Examples of this include The Invention of Hugo Cabre by Brian Zelznick and The Arrival by Sean Tan. Then we have Digifiction. Digifiction is a triple media literature. This combines three media, book, movie or video, and internet website. To get the full story, students must engage in navigation, reading, and viewing in all three forms. Patrick Carman's Skeleton Creek and Anthony Zucker's Level 26 are examples of this. There's also what we call a graphic novel. Graphic novel is a narrative in comic book formats. Graphic novel is a narrative work in which the story is conveyed to the reader using a comic form. The term is employed in broadly manner, encompassing nonfiction works and thematically linked short stories, as well as fictional stories across a number of genres. Archie Comics by John Goldwater and illustrator Bob Montana is a good example of a graphic novel. Next is manga. This is a Japanese word for comics. It is used in the English-speaking world as a generic term for all comic books and graphic novels originally published in Japan. This is considered as an artistic storytelling style. A merry manga is sometimes used to refer to comics created by American artists in manga style. Here are a few examples. Shonen Boys Manga, Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, Shoujo, Girls Manga, Sailor Moon, Seinen, Men's Manga, Akira, Jose, Women's Manga, Loveless, Paradise, Kiss, Kodomo, Children's Manga, Doraemon, Hello Kitty. We also have Doodle Fiction. This is a literary presentation where the author incorporates doodle writing, drawings and handwritten graphics in place of the traditional font. Drawing enhances the story, often adding numerous elements. Examples of this include The Diary of a Wimpy Kid 
by Jeff Kinney and Tammy Failure by Stefan Pastis. Finally, we have text talk novels. These are narratives written in blogs, email, IM, and messaging format. These stories are told almost entirely in dialogue simulating social network exchanges. Now it's time for your tour task number two. You have to write the similarities and differences of the doodle fiction, manga, and graphic novel using the compare and contrast graphic organizer. I will give you 30 seconds for this. Time's up! Let's check your answers. Similarities. All genres incorporate drawing, illustrations, or graphics in telling the story. Differences. Doodle fiction incorporates hand-written graphics in telling the story. Graphic novel uses a comic book format presented in panels and read from left to right. Manga uses a comic book format presented in panels read from right to left. They are published periodically in Japan. Well done! Another task unlocked! Literature is a timeless piece of entertainment as the innovations of technological advancements have grown. The way we read has revolutionized and evolved. However, the essence of storytelling and the effect it has on our lives haven't wavered. Literature reflects human nature and a way we can learn and relate to others. By reading through a first-person perspective, we can fully immerse ourselves into a different mindset and figure out how others think and feel. This is important within today's society as we're becoming increasingly detached from human interaction through iPhones, FaceTime, and social media. Literature is something that will never change in the way it makes you feel, regardless of whether that's on paper or ebook. As a 21st century learner, you are more immersed with the literary genres that were written and published in the year 2000s. But it is still important that we know how rich our culture and literature are by knowing and appreciating the genres produced before the 21st century. Let's test what you have learned through tour task number three. Examine the two examples below and do the following tasks. Another 20 seconds for this tour task. Time's up! Let's see how you did. Identify the literary genres of each example. Answers are text talk novel and digifiction. Compare and contrast the characteristics of the two. Similarities. Both genres incorporate digital media. Differences. Digifiction is triple media literature, book, movie or video, and internet website. While text talk novels are stories that are told almost entirely in dialogue, simulating social network exchanges. Task unlocked. 21st century learners, I hope the literary tour was a fun-filled experience for you. There is more to come for the 21st century literature 
from the Philippines and the world. Stay tuned for more on the next episode. We'll journey through more of the 21st century literary genres. See you next time for more hashtag explore with Teacher Delore. Only here on Tap Ed TV.